how do we get a tube from staying out of our face? As you can see, we have Eric on the pillow here with an N20 mask connected to this heated line tube. But because he's facing that way and the machine is right here, you can see that the tube is kind of hitting them on the face. So as he's sleeping, maybe not this dramatic, but the tube is kind of bothering him in the face, in the eyes, and maybe even in the ears. As he rolls over this way, now he's tangled, he's almost in a noose. That's gonna to contribute to more obstructive sleep apnea. So we wanna be out of the choking position and having this tube nice and free. So if he's facing this way, he doesn't really have an issue, but if he wants to face this way, maybe face his partner, again, we're having some issues here with the tube. It's destroying his face and it's destroying his sleep. One option is to change the mask. So we can take off the mask, or actually in this case, we're just gonna remove the person and replace him with this guy here. And this is a top mounted mask and it'll go right like that on the top of the head. And as you can see, because the elbow and the tube connects up top, as he rolls around, the tube can kind of stay here and doesn't impede his face. So again, if this is him sleeping and he's rotating, right, the tube kind of remains in the same place. Now, if he still finds that the tube is kind of interfering him, we might wanna elevate the tube higher than him. And we do that with use of tube hooks. So this guy here has a bendy arm and a clamp at the bottom. We can put it right on the nightstand or we can put it on the bed. So let's put it on the bed frame, put it down, make sure it's nice and tight. Now we can use this tube hook and bend the arm any way we feel is required for him in his sleeping position. It's all gonna depend on your bed height, the tube you're using, stuff like that. So you're gonna have to play around with it to see what works with you. But since we have the tube on this side here with the machine, we're just gonna clamp this in place. All the weight that was kind of on the pillow, on the bed and kind of dragging him down is elevated and he's not feeling the weight of this tube anymore and it's less likely to get tangled in his face. So if he were to slide over, for example, he's not feeling any additional weight the tube is not dragging on the pillow, getting caught in the bottom of the pillow. It's simply kind of airless and light above him. If he turns again, as you can see, it's not in his way at all, okay? Because there's no weight on the tube bringing it down and it's also kind of pushed away from his face, it's not tangling him at all. Now, because this is kind of in line with his head, we can even bring this even more back, kind of towards the wall here. And again, it's lifting the tube way out of his face, down to the machine here. And so as he rotates, there's no spinning there, okay? So the next one we're gonna look at is the CPAP-ology uh, Houdini. So you probably didn't notice this one because it's more discreet, but this one is actually right here, okay? It's underneath the bed. So this kind of tube that looks like a, an antenna from maybe an 80s vehicle connects to a base like this and this gets sandwiched between the mattress and the bed frame so in this example this one doesn't have a claw it just has this like little springy thing here it's almost like a hair tie type of thing and i'm going to run it through there connect to the machine and this little springy hair tie type of thing has enough slack where if you pull it it has a little bit of give but because of the ridges it doesn't slip and slide as easily and the tube still remains uh, pretty snug in there. We can twist it around before we feed the tube through there to make it more secure, but I'm just gonna let it be like that right now. And as you can see, as we move the guy back and forth or twist him around, okay, uh, the tube remains kind of up and away from him. Now this tube, the way I position it, just kind of for this video is kind of here. You would probably want it to scoot it all the way forward to where your pillow is, just so the tube is up and away from you. But for this video, I just kind of put it there so I could demonstrate the Raptor. Now there's another option we can look at, and it's a homemade option or more simplified option. This is where you get a hook just like this from any hardware store. You can get a much smaller hook if you want, make it nice and discreet. And you can just basically bolt this anywhere you see fit. Now you might have your partner kind of hold the tube and you can try to figure out where you want it uh, before you bolt it in because it's gonna leave a hole in the wall. When you just get a little thing from the dollar store from your, for yourself. And there you go. You can just put this on the wall there or on the bed frame. And as you can see, the same type of deal, just with a simple hook. It looks discreet and nice. Now the problem with the hook is it doesn't move as much. So if you have, for example, the Raptor before, you can kind of bend it however you want it. You might be sleeping different one day, you have that flexibility, but this hook design is probably gonna be pretty stagnant unless you have a few different hooks along your wall, but it does look very discreet and does keep your tube out of your face. Now I know what you might be thinking, what if you don't have a hollow frame mask, 
What if your favorite mask is the N20 or front mounted mask? Will this work for you? The answer is yes, absolutely. Having the tube kind of elevated is gonna reduce the weight of the tube and reduce the dragging of the tube no matter what. However, it does work best if you do have a hollow frame mask because it's already kind of, it's almost built for a tube hook. It's already away from your face. Um, so they definitely work the best with top mounted mask, but they work with any mask. Now, if you guys want, I'm gonna have separate videos just reviewing both the Raptor and the Houdini. There's like this little extender for the Raptor. So I'll show you how to put that on. I'll unbox it for you and kind of show you what you get in the box. But for now, I hope this explains what a tube hook is, why people use it, and it makes your sleeping a little bit easier. Take care.